friends, and welcome to another episode of Picture This with Abby. I mentioned this once before in a video, and now we're going to circle back. Talk to text. You might have heard it called speak text, voice to text. Ultimately, what you need to know is that it's dictation, usually built right into your phone, that allows your words to become text. Forever recognizes talk to text, which makes adding captions, adding descriptions, so much easier especially if you're someone who likes to give long descriptions. The captions you see right below here, that's talk to text. And a little bit of editing because, as we know, any kind of talk to text is not foolproof. It's not always going to recognize proper nouns. If you don't speak clearly, it won't necessarily hear what you're saying. The amount of times this software has tried to call me a B instead of Abby, I cannot even count them. <laughs> But nevertheless, flaws aside, it is an invaluable tool, and we're going to go over a little bit about how to use it. Now, where the talk to text button is going to be on your phone depends on the phone that you have. But in most cases, it's going to be on the keyboard. And as far as I can tell, it's always shown with a tiny microphone icon. Make sure that you have voice settings enabled. If you don't, oftentimes your phone will take you to your settings, and it'll make sure that you enable talk to text. So that's step number one, making sure your settings are in line. Once it's set up, all you have to do is click the microphone and speak. Most talk to text recognizes punctuation. Some even recognize emoticons, but all of them need you to be clear and slow when dictating. Otherwise, your words are going to get all jumbled and you're going to have to do a lot of proofreading. I touched on this before, but something I think it's great for is writing descriptions. When editing in your Forever account, sometimes one or two lines doesn't cut a caption. If you want to be able to tell the story of your memories, a long description is sometimes necessary. In cases like these, talk to text is perfect. It's also great for on the go. Let's say you're trying to get an auto book done really quickly and you're trotting down the street. <laughs> you're not going to be staring at your phone the entire time. But if you hit the talk to text button, you can speak those captions into existence, all while barely glancing at your phone. I'll give you an example of talk to text here. Roxanne and Mona on the incentive trip in February, comma, riding ATVs, period. Then you simply hit done. And like I said, it's not always going to recognize proper nouns like incentive trip. So there's a little bit of editing you have to do, but it recognized names. It recognized when I had to add a period. It understood the acronym ATV, so it's pretty cool. I spoke slowly, I spoke clearly, and I let them know when I needed a period. That is the beauty of talk to text Technology, we love it. There's still a lot you can learn about talk to text but this was a nice brief overview of how to use it in terms of forever. Until next time, I'm Abby. Talk to you later.